Hey Pepper Gang, if you're new to Scum, it can be a very overwhelming game. As someone that has played for over 800 hours, I wanted to pass down some useful tips that make my experience as a solo player a lot easier. These range from useful crafts, ways to deal with exhaustion, loot stashing, and more. Even if you have experience in Scum, there might be a couple here that will help you out, so don't go anywhere. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, feel free to stop on my live stream and ask me there, or write down your questions down below in the comments. With that said, let's jump straight into it with no order of importance. Number one, when you spawn in, remove that orange clothing. It's very easy to see from range. Cut the shirt and pants to rags. Use a rock knife to cut bushes into tree bark rope. And using the rags from your clothes, make an improvised backpack and bow. Bows are one of the best early game weapons in your backpack and store your arrows. Number two, if you find thread or fishing line, cut up a puppet, a zombie, and use his bones to turn into needles. Use that to create a sewing kit, and then use a sewing kit with his skin to craft a quiver. These first two tips are the way I start on a fresh life all the time, and it makes my start a lot easier. Don't sleep on the bow, guys. Number three, if you find the metal pipe early on, Many points of interest have workbenches and drill presses anyone can use for crafting weapons and ammo. That metal pipe can be used to turn into an improvised shotgun or pistol, and it's a good way to get geared early on if you don't want to hit military points of interest. You gotta make sure you just find the right items. Number four, have large spare bottles, these two liter ones. Keep them and craft improvised mines. If you have a base or a flag down, your character can set these mines anywhere inside the base radius, including your base, and you won't trigger it. I suggest hiding these mines around loot boxes, that way if anyone makes it inside your base from lockpicking, it still kills them if they start looting all your stuff. Number 5, the exhaustion mechanic can stack negatively fairly quickly and punish your stamina. Do not neglect it. I suggest always keeping a pack of cigarettes and a lighter on you at all times. They're fairly easy to find. You can also buy them at the trader. Number 6. Need food? There's many farms around the map that give you veggies, and you pick the non-poisonous mushrooms. You can craft simple veggie skewers over an open fire. This simple recipe is better than eating the raw, and once again, good food helps combat exhaustion. Tip number seven, when you log out, make sure you lay your character down on a bedroll or bed, because it will lower exhaustion quickly while you're offline, and can be completely gone when you log back in. Tip number eight, Hunting can be a bit time consuming now since the .85 update drop, there's a mini game involved with it. So try fishing instead to feed yourself and make the basic grilled fish recipe or skewer. You can even craft the rod, reel, line, floater, and hook, plus you can use worms from the riverbanks for bait. And once you get your first fish, use that to make meat bait which is a great way to get larger fish. It's much faster over time than the hunting mini game and fish also gives you a lot of hydration as well. Tip number nine, farming gives you a lot of fame points, so you have a base, also make a farm. If you use organic fertilizer, the yield will be higher and you get more fame per plant each time they are ready. Number 10, driving a boat, slap a lock on it and when you drive, stash all your gear you're wearing inside the inventory of the boat. That way you have a disconnection issue or have to jump out. You won't drown right away, which can happen really easily if you have too much gear. Stashing in your boat while you drive makes life so much easier. Tip number 11, a good way to play the game is burying stashes all around the map and never building a base. Each time you die, you can random respawn, start over and fill up a new stash, and over time you will have stashes everywhere with gear, and they're much harder to find and loot than the base. Go above and beyond, and you can even place your stashes where a tree was cut down, the tree will regrow on top of them. And if you have bad memory, take a screenshot with your computer so you don't forget. Tip number 12, if you make a base, consider using floors or walls to seal rooms when you get off. This way, if someone breaks in and lockpicks your base, they still need to use explosives to break structures down and get to the rest of the loot. When you log in, you as a player can easily destroy it, you won't get bats back, but this just adds an extra layer of protection inside your base. Tip number 13, you need screwdrivers, kill puppets and loot them. They can spawn them often, sometimes just one use but the one used screwdriver is better than none. I have found most of my screwdrivers as .85 wipe through puppets. Tip number 14, once you finish shopping at the save zones, destroy your card before you leave. You can get in the rule when you come back shopping, and this way if you die, no one has your card and your money is safe. Renewals do depend on the class of the card, so take note of that. And finally, tip number 15, after you sell out the save zone, loot the save zone cards for scrap, Sometimes you get toolkits out of them as well. It's a very good way to fill up on the way back to base and you get a lot of metal scrap at once for crafting. 
That's it for this one, guys. I could make a longer list, but I value your time and I gave you my top tips. Thank you for watching the video. Good luck in your scum adventures. And if you want to see a great scum adventure, check out this video suggested at the end. Thank you and see you guys on Twitch.